Welcome to Coffee Theology. My name is Dwayne Denbor. I'm a pastor, a teacher, and an avid fan of discussions that make your brain hurt. I love weaving together math and science, history and philosophy, theology and culture and and ethics and linguistics, you name it, all into a brain-stimulating conversation that really makes you think. It's really a passion of mine to get everybody to have real deep, self-evaluating thoughts of how well do I really know the world around me? How well do I really know scripture? And how much of my life is actually based on what the Bible says? And most importantly, how well do I know and understand God himself? Now, this channel is called Coffee Theology because a lot of the subjects that I want to be covering here, when I bring them up in my own teaching, I will say, this is my coffee theology. This is something that I'll gladly talk with you over a cup of coffee, but I may not preach it with authority from the pulpit. Now, one of the reasons why I do that is because there are certain subjects in theology that people just have a knee-jerk reaction to and don't like to talk about or just don't think that they're important. The knee-jerk reaction is usually because they think that the subject matter is going to be something that will divide them with somebody else and that it's going to be something that ruins friendships or relationships with family members. And sometimes that can be the case, although it shouldn't be the case. But because of those things, that subject gets undiscussed and we never really figure it out. Other times, people will say, well, what does it really matter? You know, does somebody have to know and understand that in order to be saved? And if you say, well, no, then they're like, oh, well, then why talk about it? It's not really that important. Well, these are some of the subjects that I would like to be able to speak of on this channel. Because I see theology like a jigsaw puzzle. Every jigsaw puzzle has corner pieces. Whenever you open the box, you dig through it, you find the corner pieces first. Why? Because they're clear. They're indisputable. You pick them out, you hold them up to the picture on the front of the box, and you lay them down where they're supposed to go, and they become the basis for everything else to be built upon. Similarly, there are areas of theology that are like that. The gospel of salvation, the fact that God created the world and that he is almighty God. Uh, Jesus is the son of God and is divine. These are things that are so plainly stated and so clearly portrayed in scripture that to argue with them is really to argue with scripture itself and to disagree with God himself. So there are some areas of theology that are vitally important like that, and we will discuss those as they relate to a lot of the other subjects. But not all theological subjects are like that. There's also edge pieces. Edge pieces to a puzzle, uh, when you go through, you find those next, and you begin to lay those out, and you don't know immediately right where they go. Sometimes you put it down, and you have to move it around a little bit. And as you progress and get further along in the puzzle, uh, you begin to know better where they they will end up. Now, the edge pieces are very important because... When the edge piece is messed up, then a lot of the inside of the puzzle is going to be messed up because you're basing where to put the inner pieces based on the edge pieces. And these edge piece theologies are like that. Uh, An example would be uh, dispensationalism versus covenant theology or free will versus predestination. Depending on how you understand some of those subjects is going to really affect how you interpret various other passages and various other issues that you're going to come across. And so the edge pieces are important, even though they may not be something that determines whether you're saved or not, but they become important to be able to put all the rest of your theology together. Now, the middle pieces of the puzzle are always harder and take longer, and that's where you end up spending most of your time. But the middle pieces aren't really that clear. And a lot of times you put them down here, and then as a course of putting the puzzle together, you move them over here, and you have to shift, and and so on and so forth. And a lot of theologies are like that, too. As we learn and we grow, we may understand something a certain way, but as we get become more mature, we understand it differently, and we move it a little bit, and it becomes uh, a little bit clearer in the correct context. And uh, that's the middle pieces. And some of the things, the middle pieces could be, you know, the fall of man. How did it happen? Uh, how did Satan fall? Uh, how, how are the end times going to uh, play out? Uh, different things like that can uh, be discussed, but often we make them divisive issues when really they're things that are figured out over the time of maturity. 
Now, some of those middle piece theologies are victim of, of saying, well, they're not that important, so let's not just let's not talk about it. The problem is, is who puts a puzzle together and puts down just the corner pieces or who puts down just the corner pieces and the edge pieces and creates the frame and then puts the puzzle away? No, we always get out the edge pieces and we fill in the puzzle. Why? Because the goal of the puzzle is not to say, oh, I got the puzzle pieces in the right place. The goal of the puzzle is to enjoy the picture. The picture of theology is God. As we put together all those pieces and discuss them, and if we're humble enough to work through them together and look at Scripture uh, and have the attitude that Paul brings up in Philippians, uh, saying, you know, that if at some point you disagree, God will make that known to you, just live up to what you already know. If we can have that humility and discuss these subjects, the end result is a clearer picture of God himself and knowing him as a person. And this is the goal of coffee theology. That over the course of a number of these videos, we will gain in our knowledge and understanding of who God is, knowing him as a person, because we've been willing to discuss some of these subjects. So hopefully you will be blessed by the videos that will be on this channel. Please subscribe so that you can find out when your, a new video is coming out. Uh, and be willing to leave a comment as to what kind of subjects you would like to be covered, or what questions you would like answered. God bless.